People I don't eat meat, fish, or dairy. Then look for me strangely. Then I realize I eat a very wide variety. Listen to Maccabee. Yo, how when me eat them, I wonder when me eat. When me tell them, say me not eat no fish. Welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, I know I've been gone for quite some time, but bear with me. I've been doing a lot of things lately, so I haven't got any time to, you know, catch up with you guys and bring you guys more videos. But here I am today if you have been keeping up with Queen's World you would know that I am in the process of bringing you guys my natural product line by Queen's World I've been trying to um, start my own natural product line which includes a hundred percent all natural um, ingredients from body scrubs face scrubs face mask um body moisturizer I'm, I'm also trying to do hair products as well i'm trying to do feminine hygiene as well so uh i'm trying to do natural deodorants because you know deodorants are the deodorants they have on shelves are not good for you so i'm gonna need you guys to help me out to so i can bring these products to you guys uh, i have a gofundme account as well where my goal is $800 so I can get started on production and getting uh, packagings as well. I would really, 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 really appreciate if you guys go check out that GoFundMe account. Um, I will post the description in the link below and you can also click right here, right here, boop, 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 to go to go um, make a donation. I'm really hoping that you guys go and donate and please support my movement. Everybody know I'm about all natural things and I'm the natural guru because people always come to me and ask me questions about natural you know, things and what I use and what's not. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. So let's get right into the video. So from the title, you already know what I'm going to be talking about, my plant-based diet. But if you don't know me or this is your first time to my YouTube channel, yes, I am a vegan and I have been vegan for about two years now. I know a lot of people out there, especially in the islands, they say they're vegetarian or they're vegan. Well, most mostly vegetarian, but you have to understand being a vegetarian you don't consume any kind of animals you will consume things that contain dairy in it but you don't consume any animals that's number one a vegan they don't consume any kind of um products from animals and they don't eat animals so it's just basically a strictly plant-based diet and um vegetarians they will eat like cheese and butter and milk and you know stuff that have dairy or they might eat eggs once or you know here and there but um the right word for it i know a lot of people don't like labels especially like my boyfriend he he was a vegan with me as well but then lately he started eating fish for protein <laughs> as he would say but he don't like the labeling so i know a lot of you guys out there don't like the labeling but if you want to know, if you want to know the proper wording for, you know, when you eat fish and stuff, it's pescatarian. So if you consume fish, you're not a vegetarian. If you consume shrimp, you're not a vegetarian, you're pescatarian. Okay, a lot of you inbox me saying, okay, yes, Kendra, um, yeah, I see, I know that you're vegan and you've been doing this for a while and, you know, I'm trying to become a vegan or a vegetarian as well but i'm you know having problems of you know supplements to replace for meat and fish and all those stuff so i'm going to help you guys today on a few things that i use um for supplements for my meats and fish first off i love fruits and veggies when i became a vegan i ate so many fruits and veggie in my whole life like veggies that I never thought of eating like um what you call it asparagus I used to hate 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 asparagus but now I am in love with asparagus um 
what else i never had brussels sprouts and then i finally had brussels sprout and i love it so a few supplements that i use are um i use two brands sometimes i use three but i don't have any of the third one here with me today so these are the two brands that i always buy um everyone is familiar with morning star some of the products in morning star may contain um eggs and milk so that's why you have to read the labeling on the package because you want to see what's in there so one of the brands that i use is morning star um another brand they have so many things for morning star they have um these smoky hickory barbecue ribs um they have i know a lot of island people in the virgin islands y'all are familiar with veggie burgers because you know for lunchtime everybody used to go up to the second floor to buy a veggie burger for lunchtime and that's how i fell in love with well that's not how i fell in love with veggie burger i used to eat veggie burger before that but i'm just saying for lunchtime that's all i wanted veggie burger and when they had veggie burger in lunch line i didn't i didn't want the meat i wanted veggie burger so <clears throat> they have like the hickory barbecue they have the hickory barbecue um ribs they have veggie burgers they have chick patties they have um buffalo wings uh buffalo chick wings they're like little nuggets they have um they have black bean burgers they have quinoa burgers they have spicy black bean burgers that's one of my favorite ones the spicy black bean burgers just know if you go <clears throat> in your aisles of um i would say walmart Publix, uh you would see or i'm not sure if they have it in target in the frozen aisle section but you would see they have a lot of morning star uh products but another brand favorite brand of mine is gardein they have everything everything so tonight i will be cooking this i don't know if you guys can see that sweet and sour pork less bites y'all don't know what y'all missing it i mean it don't taste like meat but you get the point this is made out of non-gmo soy wheat and veggies it's basically plant-based everything um i never tried this one this one here is the fishless filet these are delicious i don't know how they get the flavor to taste like fish but it tastes and smells like fish no lie like it tastes like a fish really if i have to make these for friends and or people that i didn't know and put it in a fillet they will never 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 know it's not fish it smells just like fish like a a fish fillet it's crazy i don't know how they do it but it's amazing i personally try not to do too much of these products to eat because they contain soy and too much soy is not soy is not good for you first of all but too much of it is not good so with detox i either drink some of this my apple cider vinegar um in the morning or so i haven't done it in a while but i know i used to do it i've been using apple cider vinegar as you can see my bottles all are done but i use i've been using this for other uses first thing in the morning warm a cup of water eternal um well alkaline water and put about two two to three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar there mix it up and drink it as tea like every morning i used to do this the good benefits of this is that it cleans out your body it's basically you get in a detox inside out so another thing i use for my detox are my yogi teas if you know me i love yogi teas like this is my this was my detox um tea that i used to drink like mostly uh i would say i would drink it i used to drink it like two to three times 
a week. Uh, I'll say the beginning of the week and the end of the week. So I have yogi tea on top of yogi tea on top of yogi tea on top of yogi teas on top of yogi tea but these are not all my boxes <clears throat> i throw away some but i say let me start collecting them to um start doing my research more on the herbs so i can just go and buy my own herbs and make my own tea this tea here save the last for best this one um the woman's moon cycle i believe i spoke about this in one of my previous videos which was my coochie 101 when i was talking about my menstrual um this tea is life when i say life this tea is life. this tea is for you know when you have your menstrual it's also good for cramps i drink this tea as soon as i get on my menstrual and i drink it for like the whole time so i wouldn't drink any other teas but I will drink only this tea when I'm on my menstrual. I spoke about this in my Coochie 101 video. If you want to see that, go ahead and check it out. It also has, <clears throat> this says support a healthy cycle. And you have the little star thingy, you know, when you want to put a note for someone to look, read below or whatever. But if you go to the back, it says, it has the little star thing. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So if you feel like you're going to go buy this tea and thinking it's going to clear up your whole problems, it's not. It's just doing its job. But if you're having seriously some serious issues, be sure to go check out your doctor. But don't take the, the drugs they give you. Do your own research. Get your own natural healing stuff. Take a bunch of herbs. Don't don't waste your money in the pharmacist please just drink this tea and do your research and see what herbs can help you out and what fruits and vegetables can help you out with your problems sugars are not good first of all for you it's it's very unhealthy so i found a supplement for sugar when i'm making my teas when i'm making sauces and i want it to be sweet you know if you put a little sugar in something when I'm doing anything that dealing with sweetness, I usually use a gate. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It looks like an aloe tree, but it's not an aloe tree. It's, it's shaped. Uh, if you don't know what it is, I'm going to post a picture right here. I'm starting to get tired of rice. I know I used to eat a lot of um, rice. And then I found a supplement which was quinoa and I fell in love with quinoa and then I eat so much of the quinoa I got tired of quinoa so I have quinoa right now on a pause I use wild rice because it is very high in fiber um, it's good for your digestion also a good source of um, minerals throw away your white rice throw away your brown rice get you some black rice why because it's melanated once you go black you never go back i'm telling you i only drink alkaline water alkaline water i cannot emphasize any more of how much i only drink alkaline water and this water i always drink i always advertise it on my snapchat i always advertise it on whatever video i'm talking about or whatever i'm always drinking eternal water um these bananas they don't have seed because i remember when i was growing up in dominica and we used i used to get banana in the back of my grandmother's house they i remember i clearly remember bananas having seeds now I bite in a banana and I don't see no seeds. It's just like they're cloning this shit. Shit is a hybrid. It's not good. But I'm still eating it, right? I know, but I just buy bananas to put in my smoothies. I have a smoothie like every morning. You guys eat your vegetables. Try to stay away from iceberg lettuce. Lettuce, if you don't know what that is, it's the lettuce that you usually see that they usually sell you serve you in salads like it's just 
it's really crunchy it like breaks like it's like you just snap it sounds like an iceberg when you break an iceberg you know i know you never heard how the icebergs crack but if you break a piece of ice you know like the little flat thin ice break it that's how the iceberg lettuce is try to get you some leafy lettuce like the long ones that look like a big stalk um those lettuce are good but i try to lean more towards kale and spinach it's not that hard how people it's not that hard to be a vegan it's really coming from me i was a full-blown meat eater i used to eat sauce if y'all don't know what that is it's a um, island thing probably in the states y'all call it something differently but it's basically like pig skin I used to eat cow foot bull foot soup oh let's not forget my favorite blood pudding like if you don't like blood pudding you <laughs> this is growing up in a house of a dominican okay not dominican a dominican okay i'm an island child i love my blood pudding um what else i love my goat soup the meat is totally different down there the meat is actual size like the chicken be small but it's so delicious a pear that should be like this is the size of a drumstick like with the the bone coming down like they be injecting that shit it's, it's not good and with the fish don't even talk about fish yes guys i have cheated my vegan diet a few times before and let me tell you it did not go well with my body i ate what saltfish i ate fish i ate red snapper i think it was earlier this year i tried curry chicken and that oh my god it did not go with well with me like my stomach was just bothering me like i had the shits you know like i don't like the experience of when i don't eat meat for a while and then i eat it and then my body's just totally rejecting it so that's why i try to when i cook my food i try to do it as close as possible to the island flavor because i am an island child i love my island food my almond milk and my cashew milk cashew is one of my favorite right now i'm trying to hold off on the almond for a while um <clears throat> i've heard it's not good for you almond milk but i've been doing my research i haven't come across anything yet so i don't know where they're getting that information from but i still drink almond milk you know every now and then but i'm more drawn to cashew milk i will be making my own milk once i buy nuts because nuts are so freaking expensive i don't know why for a freaking can of nuts it's like five dollars like what but you can make hemp milk you can make rice milk you can make almond milk you can make cashew milk you can make walmart what am i saying walmart walnut milk any kind of nut milk um <laughs> nut milk <sighs> ignore me i have a dirty mind but your body is good to get sick about once or twice a year because you really cleanse out your body you take out you take out a mucus the bacteria inside of you when you get sick it's just your body telling you okay it's time for me to get the shit out of you like you don't need that in there if I didn't cover anything that you was looking for, please be sure to leave your comments below and comment your questions, your suggestions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Queen's World and I'll see you guys in my next video.